If you have a new car like this and you can't get maps or navigation or wireless Android Auto because it's behind a paywall, don't worry. There's an easy solution for that now. And this is the solution right here. It's hard to pronounce, but it works and it's super easy. M-S-X-T-T-L-Y Wireless Android Adapter. This is real simple and it's real neat and compact. Comes in a nice little box. And essentially, it's a USB dongle. You get a few adapters there, as you can see, so it'll fit any car, any application. You get a 3M sticky. Uh, in our case, we're not going to need these uh, extra adapters and extensions. But if you do, they're there. There's even a 90-degree extension there, which is pretty cool. But uh, the main dongle is, is down there. And we're going to plug it in right here. So just plug it into your... USB A data port, uh, and that's the hardest part is figuring out which way the USB <laughs> the USB A goes in your car, and uh, that's it. It looks good. There's no nonsense, nothing dangling. That's it. You just plug it in. It looks like a USB stick drive, and uh, best of all is the thing actually works. So like magic, there you go. You sync it up with your phone with Bluetooth, and you've got wireless Android Auto on your car that uh, formerly didn't have wireless uh, Android Auto. So you had this useless screen before you had to plug it in, which is, of course, inconvenient. And now you've got wireless. Easy done. Anytime you got your phone in your pocket, you just hop in and go, and this brings up wireless Android Auto. Away you go. So that's it. It works good. It feels good. It looks good. It does everything it's supposed to do. The only question now is the longevity of the unit. How long will it last? Now, if you want to switch between users like you and your spouse or whatever, you might have to have uh, one person turn off their Bluetooth. I don't know how the unit is going to be able to differentiate between two users. So in that case, just have somebody uh, turn their Bluetooth on and whoever wants to connect can connect. The naming of this product is a, is interesting. It's a, it's unpronounceable. That's my only recommendation to the manufacturer. Maybe make it a name that somebody can pronounce. You know, M S T M S T X Tiddly or something. It just doesn't doesn't make any sense. So that's really the only issue with this product is the name itself isn't really marketable so maybe uh, if the company's listening maybe change the name make it something more simple sounding so people can pronounce it and know where to buy it and talk about it more so this is the cleanest solution by far for any car it's the neatest looking dongle there is no wires no big awkward uh, you know dongle connect to a wire like some of the older Motorola versions etc it's clean it's simple it works check it out. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great, great day.